we want to allow the audience to, to offer a few. Uh, W.E.B. Du Bois said, in, said that the problem of the 20th century was the problem of the color line. Uh, we, what? Of the color line. Will color, the, sorry. the color line, race. Color line, yeah. Yeah. Will, will the Caribbean and the world, for that matter, have outgrown um, race fixations, you think, by the end of the 21st century? I think by the end of now. I think they have, really. Anything that persists in um, keeping race as an, uh, as an issue is a dated culture. I think America has gone way beyond that. Okay, well, those are all the questions I have prepared. Um, I think we're going to ask, ask the audience if they want to. Thank you. Uh, good evening. A quick question. Uh, do you think Caribbean literature can uh, inform and reshape international and regional policy on immigration and migration? I guess the movement of people. Like, what? She, she wants to know if you think literature, the writers, if we have the ability to, to change policy, nation's policies on, on the movement of people. We don't have any political power, but that futility is part of the Caribbean experience of <laughs> literature, right? Anyone else? Yeah. We got a mic right there. Uh, Mr. Walker, you mentioned um, the exchange of many pieces of paper for travel throughout the Caribbean. I suspect that um, this could be because we do not really trust one another. I'm sorry, I think you all hired a cripple because I'm deaf too. Oh, hello, I said that is because um, <laughs> the exchange of paper, could it be because we do not really trust one another? And when I say that, I think about the exercise of the Caribbean single market economy. It did not go down very well here in the Bahamas. What's that? The, the single CSME. Caribbean, Caribbean single, single market, market effort to economy. integrate um, the, the economies of the English-speaking Caribbean. The Bahamas was very much opposed to it. Very much resistant, yes. So he's asking, is the problem one of trust between Caribbean nations? Well, isn't it a problem of distance? That's a long time to get here. It's a long way away. I mean, the Caribbean is a huge sea. And you're really northern Caribbean. There may be sympathies that exist, even climatically, because you're so far north, in a way, for the rest of the Caribbean. It's a far way to think. So, so it's a psychological thing. <laughs> Pardon me? Is it a psychological thing? If it's pathological. Is it, psycho is it psychological? Um, <laughs> I don't know if we're that unified really. We have the same racial experience and same historical experience. Um, but you know, each island is different in its own way. Martinique and Guadeloupe are different to St. Lucia. Barbados is different from anything else. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's a matter of distance and the habit of intimacy that comes with... Um, of course, you could say that's not true, but I think the sea is a very divisive thing as well as a very unifying thing, too, as you must experience here as an archipelago. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? I think there's someone. Up. Yeah, if you have a question, it might be good to stand so people can see you, they can find you in the crowd. Yes. Mr. Walcott, thank you. you. You spoke about huge hotels with nothing active going on intellectually for the people inside. And you spoke about tourism as a possible cause for the extinction of an intellectual, moral, and ethical life. 
uh, of the people here. Do you see an alternative or a way that 